Hey everyone, welcome to the Dankest Dungeon. Today we're going to be playing a rematch of our recent Oathbreaker game with Kiora versus Liliana versus Huatli versus Tezzeret. If you didn't catch the first game of this matchup, go ahead and check that out here in the upper right. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the game. Hey, it's Jason again. I'm back with Kiora Behemoth Beckoner. Trying my best for a devastating finale. Hey, I'm Eddie, and I'm back playing Liliana of the Dark Realms and Torment of Hellfire. We're still gonna try to accumulate as much black mana as we can. Cast something really big. See if it happens. Hey, it's Matt. We're back with uh, Hotly Radiant Champion and Shaman Revelation. Uh, gonna be trying to utilize some of uh, Corbin's signature artisanal mana chads to uh, turn creatures into cradles and then do creature stuff. Hopefully. Hi, I'm Brendan. We're playing Tezzeret again. My signature spell is also going to be a thought cast again. Okay, everyone, let's roll off. I got a nine. Seven. Six. Four. Oh. Oh, look at I that. I won again. Look at that. Price. I'll keep this. Oh, man. This is. I'm going to keep. It might bite me in the ass. Uh oh. Stinky. My hand is all three drops. They're good three drops. Thing. Guy Mulligan. <laughs> yeah, I'm not keeping. <laughs> Guess I keep this. I'm going to six. One went to the bottom. I'm going to draw. I will play an island and I'll pass my turn. Oh, sick gnarly. What a terrible turn one play. Bajuk Vog, Brennan, f your graveyard. <laughs> oh, go ahead. I will draw. I have a basic forest and it's going to cast an arbor elf. Drawing, we're going to play a swamp and pass turn. I will draw. I will play a forest. Pay one green and one for a green sun zenith for one. Search for a mana dork. Let's do Fendorn. No. Birds is the obvious choice. Birds That's would fun. be the good one, yeah. Let's do birds. Okay. Bop. I'll pass the turn. Well, brother, I hope you contribute to our uh, our personal gain. Demon's Horn. Whenever a player casts a black spell, I may gain a life. That is a card you can play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cast a lot of black spells. <laughs> <laughs> I will untap and draw. I have a Bountiful Promenade. Luckily there are two or more of you, so it enters untapped. Uh, I'm gonna tap this forest and cast an Elvish Mystic for extra ramp, and then I'm going to tap the Bountiful Promenade to cast Steel Shaper's Gift. I search my library for an equipment, reveal it, put it in my hand. I'm gonna find Horn of Valhalla. Could you explain to me what that card does? So Horn of Valhalla has two parts because it has an adventure mode. Uh, as an adventure, it is Ysgard's Call. I can create X11 white soldier creature tokens, and I'll put this in exile. Cast it later as Horn of Valhalla, which is a two mana white equipment. Quick creature gets plus one plus one for each creature you control and equips for three. I'll be in my hand. Combat, I will hit Jason for asking questions. Okay. Go ahead. Reasonable. Inventory is fair into a Demir Signet and pass. If you appreciate the content that we're creating and you'd like to support us here at the dungeon, the number one way to do so is to sign up to become a member over on our Patreon page. Some of the patron benefits include access to our full deck lists, voting privileges for polls held over on our Patreon, and shout outs at the end of every video to let everyone know how awesome you are. If money's tight and becoming a patron isn't the best option for you right now, we totally get it. Simply liking our videos or subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and commenting down below all help as well and are totally free. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the game. I'm gonna untap, draw, I'll play Yavamai Coast. Let's go ahead and play Kiora. She comes in with seven loyalty. Whenever a creature with power four greater enters the battlefield under my control, I draw a card and I can minus one her to untap target permanent. I will tap Birds of Paradise for one green. I'm gonna pay one to untap it and I will tap Birds of Paradise for one blue. I will play three visits. I'm gonna search for a forest card then put it onto the battlefield and shuffle my library. I'll pass my turn. Uh, swamp. Who could have seen that one coming? We're going to beseech the queen. We're going to search the library for a card with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of lands I control. Reveal it, put it in my hand. You That's gain a life, three. right? Yeah. Well, there's probably a better card to grab for three mana, but I think it's funny. Bantu's Monument. We're going to gain all the life. I'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. The land for turn is Horizon Canopy. For one green, green, untap, 
green. I cast my own green sub zenith. X is three. I'm gonna find this Chad named Harem Blade Elite. One one vigilance. Whenever another human enters under my control, I can make it bigger. Tap it to add X Men of any one color where X is its power. Pass the turn. We're gonna go ahead and uh, tap my Inventor's Fair and Demir Signet for a reality chip. Jellyfish time. And pass my turn. End of your turn. I'm gonna pay one green mana for a worldly tutor. I'm gonna look for a creature and put it on top of my deck. I'm gonna grab Gorklaw. He goes on top, this goes to the graveyard. I go to my turn, I will untap and draw the bear. Four for Gorklaw. He's a four three bear. Creature spells that I cast with power four or greater cost two less to cast. Whenever a Gorklaw Terror of Kalsima attacks, each creature you control with power four or greater gets plus one plus one against trample until the end of turn. When he comes into play, that'll trigger Kiora. I will draw one card. Lose a counter to untap birds. I'm gonna pay two green. Losing one life for Yavimaya to cast Questing Beast. He comes into play, trigger Kira. I will draw a card. Questing Beast is a 4-4 Vigilance Death Touch Haste. Questing Beast can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. Combat damage that would, that would be dealt by creatures you control can't be prevented. When Questing Beast deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to target planes or that player controls. Go to combat, smack Matt for 4. Yep. This could help Matt, but that's okay. I just hit him for 4. Uh, Yavimaya Cradle of Growth. All lands are forest in addition to their other types. Mm. And I will pass the turn. Yeah, this is not how I want this to go right now. Hey, is it three? Dailies already? No. Oh. Good tutor. Okay. I'm almost tempted to just grab a land. That'll be my turn, because that's all I have. All right. Untap. Draw for turn. One, two, three. I will untap this forest bountiful promenade. Thank you very much. Yeah. Four. Uh, I will cast my Oathbreaker, Quatly Radiant Champion. Uh, I can plus it to put a number of loyalty counters on it equal to the number of creatures I control. I can minus it to make a creature bigger equal to the number of creatures I control. Minus eight gives me an emblem that whenever a creature enters under my control, I get to draw a card. I may draw a card. This is important, maybe. I am going to minus it, targeting Heron Blade Elite. I will tap it for three white. No, four white, because power is four. We're good. I know how to math. Uh, I'm going to use three of it, though, to cast Village Bell Ringer. Uh, when it enters, I can untap all creatures I control. Whee! Trigger, because it's a human. Heron Blade Elite gets permanently another plus one plus one. Uh, I'm going to tap this for five mana now. Six off of the Elvish Mystic. Uh, I'm going to cast Yisgard's Call. Create four 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens. Pass turn. Mm. Yeah, Silas Rem, Secret of Death Touch, and uh, whenever he deals combat damage to a player, if you target artifact card from my graveyard, I may play that card this turn. <laughs> you cast a black spell, you gain a life. <laughs> Pass turn. I will untap and draw. I'm gonna go ahead and play an island. I'm going to pay four for Spark Bubble. Gross. It's gonna come in as a copy of Gorkloth, but it is not legendary. Trigger Kiora, I will draw a card. Creatures that have power four or more net costs, four less. Go to combat. All right, so he will come at you, and when he connects, he'll deal damage to your Planeswalker in addition. Sure. <laughs> Norclaw will come at Eddie, and when he, whenever he attacks, he gives all my creatures with power four greater plus one plus one and tramp. So th these will both be five damage. Before damage, I'm going to untap Bountiful Promenade, and I'm going to attempt to soul partition your questing beast. Nice. Second main phase, I will pay one life for a green. One more green. Primeval Titan. I'm gonna search for two lands. Trigger her first, I will draw a card. Uh, since all my lands are forests, I'm just gonna grab two islands. I'm going to minus one to untap birds, and I will pass my turn. Holy fucking grail. Mm. Swamp. Yeah. The taps are green. <laughs> that it does. I guess we'll just make the simple play of getting my commander out and search in the library for a swamp. And gaining a life. That's significantly less board wipes than I was expecting. Pass the turn. I have to discard. We'll discard this uh, Grave Titan. Untap. Draw. Uh -huh. I'm going to minus hotly targeting Heron Blade Elite. Plus one, two, three, four, eight. I'm going to tap it for eight. I'm going to use five of it to cast my signature spell, Shamanic Revelation. I will attempt to pay one blue to wash away. Counter target spell that was not cast from your hand. Very well. Oh, it's nine. Nine green mana, I forgot. Oh. No, ten. Okay. So I have five green floating. And a white. I'll go down to four green and cast Eladomri's Call. Search for a creature. Put it into my hand. And we'll see if I built this deck correctly. I'm going to find Stoneforge Mystic. 
uh, which I will then use a floating green and pay a life off of the present canopy to cast. When that enters, with my three green, I will find and cast Umbral Mantle. It's game over, guys. Probably. Umbral Mantle reads, Equip creature has three untapped. This creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn. Equip zero. I'll equip it to Harrow Blade Elite for zero. I will then spend one, two, three mana to untap it. I uh, give it plus two plus two. So I will tap it for 12 and then tap it using three of that. And then tap it for 14. So infinite white and green. Infinite white and green mana. I will use it to draw four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. I'll draw another nine cards. I'll draw nine. Once more. Okay, you get a finale. I can't, because it's one of those seven cards. Uh, I'm gonna cast Questing Beast of my own. I'm going to cast Green Sun Zero. X is zero. I'll fail to find and shuffle it in. Wow, Second eight cards. Pod. I'm gonna cast Swords of Plowshares, targeting Stoneforge Mystic. I will gain a life. Exile Stoneforge Mystic. <laughs> Took a life. Whatever. Man, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I will draw eight cards now, with eight cards in my deck. Somebody make them draw. If you can, I die. I will cast Finale of Devastation. X is 100 million. And then I will swing all of my dorks. So Matt was able to do exactly what he set out to do by playing a bunch of dorks, making one of them really big, and then drawing a bunch of cards, and winning with a really big finale of Devastation. Thanks for watching everyone, hope to see you next time. See ya.